Hi everyone, Daryl Legacy here, Instructional Designer at Hack. D2L recently updated their Dropbox evaluation process, so this video will show you how to use it for grading submissions. As of this video's publication, you can switch back and forth between the old and new grading experiences. However, in August 2021, that option will disappear, meaning you must use the new version from then on. Fortunately, the new version isn't that different, but it's worth learning how to use it if you haven't before. Once you've had a student submit to a Dropbox folder, click Dropbox on your navbar, or however you normally go to the Dropbox area. Click the drop-down arrow next to the appropriate Dropbox item and choose View Submissions from the drop-down menu. Click on a submission by one of the students. If the submitted file is one of the types that can be rendered in D2L, you'll see it here. Those types include Word documents, PowerPoints, Excel files, JPEGs, text files, and some others. If you're using this before the old experience is removed, you may see that as the default view. This is what the old experience looks like. If you do see the old experience, you can switch to the new one, or back, by clicking the drop-down arrow on the upper right and choosing Turn It On. Depending on when you're doing this, you may see some extra information about the changes. After you turn the new version on, this is how the new grading experience will look. You'll notice that it has most of the same information, but in a cleaner, more simplified view. If the student submitted more than one file, like our fake student did, you'll see them all on the left, with the most recent one on top. They'll each have the submission date and time, and how many days late, if any. You can choose one to grade by just clicking anywhere on the file. The annotation tools work just the same as before, so there's nothing new there. If you haven't seen them already, click the link above to watch our video showing how to annotate the student's document. When you created the Dropbox folder, you could attach one or multiple rubrics, and you can then choose which one to use for this specific file here. This would be useful if students have flexibility in what they submit. For example, maybe you allow them to either write a report or record a presentation. You can then choose which rubric to use based on which assignment they chose for their submission. If you click on a rubric, it will bring up a slider bar for each criterion. You can choose the achievement level for each criterion by clicking on one of the segments or clicking the left or right arrows to move the score up or down one level. You'll see the achievement level listed, as well as the score for that criterion. You can add feedback on individual criteria by clicking the Add Feedback button right below the slider. After finishing grading with your rubric, you'll need to make sure that rubric is chosen in the drop-down under Grading Rubric. If you aren't using a rubric, or if you need to manually adjust the grade up or down, you can do that in the Overall Grade box. This is a good place to lower a grade for being late. That way, the student sees the raw score they would have earned on the rubric if it were on time, but they also see the actual score they earned after any penalties. You can add global feedback for the entire assignment in the Overall Feedback area. You can upload a file by clicking on the Upload icon on the bottom left, and you can record a 30-second audio or video comment using the buttons on the bottom right. When you're all finished, click the Publish or Update button and the grade and feedback will be sent to the student. If you aren't quite ready to finalize it, click Saved Draft instead, and it will save it but not publish it. Just remember to come back and publish it when you're finished, though. That's it for grading Dropbox submissions using the new evaluation experience. If you have any questions, please contact me or someone else in the CDI team.